Welcome back to the Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh and we are out here today with two custom rifles. Both of these are from Kenny at Desert Precision Gunworks. They are both Rimexes, yep. and we're gonna get into more of that later. But what we're gonna do today is shoot some eggs at three and hopefully 400 yards. And then we're gonna shoot off these props. And I wanted to do this because I was able to come out here, shoot with Len on his property. He shot with me yesterday. We're doing a shakedown of rifles and I think it's good to have Len here because he is not a YouTuber. Um, you know, everything there he bought and paid for with his own money. So, uh, you know, if you have any trepidations about believing in YouTuber, now we have just a flat out customer and PRS rimfire shooter who's made the leap into a full custom. And, uh, but yeah, let's get on the maps. We're gonna shoot at some eggs and uh, we'll see how we fare out. Nothing. Nada. Trying to decide if there's more wind or less wind. Me too. <laughs> Mm. I'm not seeing nothing. I am not. I thought I caught a glimmer, but. Well, it's warming up so much. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to shoot dead center of that hip stick. High watermark. Oh, it's high. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I was, I was wondering the same thing. It's warming up as we're going, so it's going to keep kind of... You can shoot at your target or that ipsic, whatever you want. Yeah, I'm going to see what the wind's doing. I'm going to hold dead up a half mil. Right below mine. Yep. So it's about a tenth high. Just needed the wind. There it is. All right, Mr. Land. I have the faith in you. Let's see. Oh! oh yeah. <laughs> back to back once you know the wind. All right, so I think the way you guys will have seen this is uh, me and Len tied, I think, on the eggs. Uh, so, yep. 400, like a wash today. We can't see impacts at the IPSC. I didn't bring my drone because I'm an idiot. The Mirage just got crazy. It wasn't that bad this morning. Um, no. At 300, we could clearly see impacts. So we shot and we're kind of shooting the wrong dope because we don't have dope, we're just guessing. Then we verified on the IPSC and we both got a wind call and then we were both able to hit wow. the egg immediately after that. So 300 yards, medium sized egg, not a large or extra large, so an inch egg. That's third MOA. Um, prone with two custom builds from Kenny over at Desert Precision Gunworks. So at that point, I don't think you can say anything, but obviously the rifles perform. Um, oh, great. Yeah, we haven't even, neither one of these are really lot tested. We've just shot the ammo we have and just been doing that. We don't have dope. We're just flying by the seat of our yep. pants, really. There's much getting uh, super stable on this thing. No. Still a little bit of wind. Oh, it's two, right? I can't even remember the rules I'm making up. Oh, too much wind. They go from a uh, fairly decent size to tiny, teeny tiny, pretty quick. Yeah, when you break two. Oh, this is a weird, weird height here. Oh, 
all around it. Yes, that's a hard target. Small ones suck. Yes, they do. I tried high kneeling from there, it was way too tall. <laughs> Short stroked it. Short stroked it. <laughs> there it is, you got the small one. You got the small <laughs> one. Screw it up. You gotta hold about three tenths. May or may not. Yeah, Get close. But we're gonna have fun with this one. Got my scope jammed in there, basically. Oh. Just off of it. <laughs> Jammer in there. Jammer in there. All you can do on this. Oh, I hit that freaking limb right in front of us. Mm. Nicked it. Nick. So now we need a hold over on that and for a win. That should be about 2.3. Yeah. Mm. Come on now, Len. Mm. I like your tactic, though. Trying to use the most stable. Mm -hmm. Look, yours fits right in there. Nick, it. Yeah, sound like it hit me. That was definitely a good one. What'd you do, Nick's porthole? Yeah, yeah, it was the most stable, but you're gonna have that bush. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't. I mean, it's gonna be a gamble. You you may hit the bush or you may not. <laughs> Oh, goody. <laughs> Get the bush. Yeah, I heard it. The next one's in the open. But I missed it. I like that bag. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it pretty good. Nick. Well, you probably shot it right through the center. That's what I don't like about those targets <laughs> is they have all the openings in them. Yep. So you'll grace hit it through the openings, which helps. Ah. Uh, you go high on it? Yep. Yeah. There it was. There it is. And uh, try not to give them too many uh, shots. Got it. Barely makes it more wind now. That wind switched already. It did. Coming from the left now. Yeah. I'm telling you, this bag is solid. I'm going to do a video just on this bag. I actually ordered one. Oh. Right over it. High. And then right next to it. I got one of these on order as of last night. The wind cost me a hundred bucks. Oh, that wind is messing with me. Oh, oh, oh thanks. 
See, that's a little far reach. Yeah, I've dropped a bunch already. We're half a mil. Yep. And then just over one. Yeah, I think I think one is just a touch high for me. Okay. On this, but it does have stems. I mean, it's not. Should have still hit them. I missed the wind. Nice. It's rock solid on here. I was super solid on all those. Just missed, uh, drop what? Three? Three. I think it was three. Three or four. I dang near missed that first one. <laughs> I just about did right then. I just about did right then. Skim pack. Yeah. Skim pack. So yeah, we'll do reverse. So we're starting at the smallest, hit to move. So if we miss it, we gotta re-engage. And then uh, we'll miss our chance at the meatball targets if we drop any, which we're gonna drop, I'm sure. Alrighty. I think I'm just gonna do it reverse how I did it last time. <laughs> I think my, uh, my optic rides a little higher than yours. I think it does. <laughs> I'll wedge her in there, yeah, get in there. Kind of hard to level like this. Ooh, I was so nervous about that one. Uh, there it is. Wind got me. is wrecking me. Super solid. <laughs> I don't even think I, uh, I got one or two bullets left maybe. I wasted a bunch of shots. Somehow mess this order up. I didn't think this through. Yeah, that's all I could do to get my optic in there. Really easy to level right here. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> right. That wind, man, it's it's variable right now. I can feel it pushing on my face and dying off and pushing on oh. my face. That was the most one I was most nervous about. Mm -hmm. It's coming in from the right at least a couple tenths right now, Lynn. Then it dies. Wow. And this one will beat you down on that. There it is. There we go. Now I can move to the next one. <laughs> There it is. I think it's, those small ones are. They're tough. Well, I mean, how many yards you say that KYL? 84. That KYL is 84 yards. 
and we're shooting it off a prop. There it is, now he's on it. Now he's got her going. Now we got it. But the target's getting bigger now too. Yeah. That was it. Well, you know what? I must have missed four. Because I moved certain positions and I was just watching you shoot and thinking that when I shot, I must have accidentally skipped one of those and went somewhere else. I must have missed at least four. Because there's no way that I was looking at you shoot those because when I ended up in a position there, I only had one target left. Yep. So I think maybe the second bigger one I didn't might have been or I shot it in the might wrong have order yet. Might have might have been. Did something crazy. We got on these props here. We run through. Um who knows how that turned out. I think Len got me. Um he troused me on the first one. Um I think I barely got you on one. Yep. And then uh the end was kind of a that, train wreck. That end was a train wreck for me. You well for me too, because I think I shot the the K I think I missed one of the KYL targets, so technically speaking, like <laughs> I might have shot more targets, but I think I missed one. So yeah, who knows? But it was just for fun. Um, right. Like I said, so we were using the dope off a of lens custom CZ, and and we're both using that, so it's not like it's actually you know like trued up dope. Yeah, and we're shooting at KYL at 80, 80 something yards. Yeah, in the wind, no dope, just reg just ammo that we just happen to be shooting. So this isn't meant to be like. How accurate can these be? Because I'll have a full video in the future of this rifle where we'll do groups, and I really want to get more testing done to give it a fair shot um, to see how it stacks up against like my voodoo. Um, Len was able to shoot my voodoo yesterday when it came to my property to kick my butt there. I end up with a lot of uh, fancy rifles, and uh, oftentimes I get help from manufacturers to do that. So um, I get why some people would not want to take my word as the gospel, like, you know. Well, yeah, of course you like it. You know, you only have half the money in it. Everybody else does. So that's why we're out here today because Len has 100% of his money in this. So he got the full-on ACC Elite Baker Wings. Um, he's got the vibration dampers, the Leupold Mark V, the full custom build. We both got uh, the Krieger barrels. So just difference in chamber. He has a JGS and I have a modified Bents for the Ely. Um, but having stepped up from a fully custom CZ, which is kind of like what I would say the low end of being like a top level competitive right. rifle. You can certainly get up there. Okay, um, great. You spent the money. Yep. Um, now, what do you think at, after the fact? I mean, if you're looking for a custom level rifle to shoot in competition, you, you can't go wrong with these. The fit and finish, perfect. Um, everything's trued up, great builds all the way around. So are they worth the money? Yes. Yes, yeah. they are. If you want to compete in precision rifle. Uh, more to come on this. I don't want to get too long-winded. Um, we'll do accuracy and groups on this. And uh, if you're on the fence, you don't know about our Patreon and Discord, Lens a member. Um, just you'll see those guys on the YouTube comments. I'm not going to tell you exactly what we do in there because I don't want everybody to know. So we have a lot of fun. You can get in there in the Patreon for like a buck a month, I think, and it gets you access to the Discord. And that's where everything happens. We have monthly competitions. We do a lot of stuff that is uh, going on behind the scenes. That's a lot of fun, and uh, a lot that's of good people. yeah, we have really good people. You know, if somebody gets in there that's crummy, they're just going to get kicked out and their money refunded. So that group will always be kind of legitimate guys looking to help each other. But uh, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you letting me come out here Thank and uh, shoot eggs. I don't really appreciate you kicking the crap out of me too much on camera, uh, and cost me cost me a hundred bucks because I got to buy this bag. Whole another video on this bag too. Uh, Game changer medium Great versus bag. pint size. Before the last couple of days, I would have said there's no difference between these two. Ah. I've always used a pint size, but I can tell you now, there's a specific reason to use that medium and is hugely different. It and is. we'll go on that because I got one coming on the way. So Len cost me like 300 in ammo and like 100 on a bag. So, Had you fun, know, though. yeah, we did have a lot of fun. <laughs> now I appreciate him and I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, thanks for sharing this and liking it. And we'll catch you on the next one.